Jameis Winston is the quarterback of the New Orleans Saints. And this is Jameis Winston's last opportunity to become a franchise quarterback. He was a former number one overall pick. He was drafted number one overall by Tampa in 2015. He got replaced in Tampa. And, you know, they replaced him with Tom Brady. That's an understandable move. But last time we saw Jameis Winston as a full-time starter, yeah, he led the NFL in passing yards. He had 33 touchdown passes, but he also had... 30 interceptions. He got replaced for a reason. He wasn't getting it done. And last year, Jameis was supposed to be the starting quarterback in New Orleans. And I I was pumped, man. I was really excited to watch him. I was very hopeful. But he only made it six and a half games before he tore his ACL. Ironically, by the way, against his old team, Tampa. So we never really got to see what Jameis was going to become in Tampa. He had 14 touchdowns and three interceptions, got hurt. The year got cut short. This year, there's a pretty good team around Jameis. There's a ton of receivers. You've got Michael Thomas. You've got Jarvis Landry. Chris Olave is a new first-round pick. Uh, getting Jarvis Landry, by the way, unbelievable. Didn't think they'd get a receiver that talented on top of Michael Thomas and Chris Olave. They've got a good offensive line. They've got Alvin Kamara at running back. They've got a good defense. Um, new Orleans is low-key loaded with talent. They just need good quarterback play. Uh, so I think... If Jameis can deliver that. Now, there is one thing that I am concerned about with New Orleans. They've got a new head coach, Dennis Allen. Dennis Allen was once the head coach of the Raiders years ago, from 2012 to 2014. In that two and a half years, he went 8-24. and He had two 4-12 and seasons in a row. And once he started 2014-0-4, he got fired. So Dennis Allen, last time he was a head coach, it wasn't great. But also, last time Jameis Winston was a starting quarterback, it wasn't great. They've got parallel stories. They both are trying to prove themselves in a new opportunity in New Orleans. And, uh, man, this Saints team has way more talent than any of those Raiders teams ever had that Dennis Allen was coaching. So I'm hopeful, man. I'm hopeful. I'm pumped to see Jameis Winston play his former team, Tampa, twice this year. Week 2 and then again Week 13. Uh, and, And frankly, even without Jameis, the Saints have recently dominated Tampa. So I'm really hoping we get to see Jameis Winston get his revenge against his former team. That would be really, really cool to see. So he's got a good team around him. That means, though, there's no excuses for Jameis Winston this year. This is Jameis Winston's final opportunity to become a franchise quarterback. And I think he's going to do really well. But if it doesn't work out here, um, he's not going to get another opportunity. Especially not one this good with a great team around him. Uh, in a good situation like New Orleans. So I'm hopeful. I want to see Jameis get revenge against his former team, but uh, if it doesn't work out here, he's never going to get another shot like this ever again.